find my way back to you Until you make amends with the demons you've been through And I can't regret leaving you alone I originally wanted to do a dark, kind of gothic, punky tutorial because that had been requested a little bit, but uh, when I asked, a follower requested like a henna type dealio and I thought that sounded so fucking cool. So I did go with the henna look and as I was doing the henna look, you know, I went with white obviously since I'm so tan, I thought it would look cool. Um, I didn't want to go too hard with the whole liner and lashes and lips. At first I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, I'll do this and then I'll do glittered brows and glittered lips. But I think a soft bohemian look along with the henna lace was kind of a perfect fit together. So, you know, this is a tutorial with no liner, which is so strange for me because I fucking love wing liner. Not loved, I love. Not past tense, present. But I love wing liner and I feel kind of odd without it, but I like it, you know, it's fun, it's different. Or different. I'm so glad you guys did like these tutorials. They've been fun to do. And we will say goodbye to my happy poppy flower background for a while. It will probably make an appearance again soon. But I have a new background in store for you guys for a tutorial coming soon. I'm so excited. Anyways, as always, I have all product details down below. I say that every motherfucking time. You can possibly save some money on some products. Just check it out. You can see if you can. I don't know why this is happening with my hands. I'm going to stop. Alright, so instead of putting you guys through me doing my foundation for the third time, I started with a primed and foundationed up face. If you do want to see how I have been doing my foundation recently with the tan skin, just check out my other music festival tutorials and I do them in there. I'm just doing your basic, simple contour. Just taking the Anastasia Havana contour powder and the Morphe G30 brush just to do my cheekbones and my temples and around my forehead and under my jawline. I do really enjoy this Havana powder from Anastasia because the color just kind of even more warms up my tan for that sun-kissed glow. I'm also then just brightening up under my eyes and my chin a little bit with the banana powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is a very light yellow. I did go ahead and draw one design on one side of my face, so now we will start on the other side. I thought it would be a little redundant and kind of boring to do the exact same design on the other side of my face, so I decided to switch it up. For this henna design, I am using the Mayron Makeup Paradise Paints in white and some of the NYX Cosmetics Liquid Liner in white as well, and a MAC 210 brush. I personally have never done henna in my life, but I was so intrigued by the idea of it. And so I really wanted to, you know, do something with that style because it's so detailed. And I love little tiny details and intricate little lines and loops. So I kind of did mine based off of a flower. Um, I love drawing flowers and flowers are pretty big in the music festival scene. So I just started small and I would build onto it and build onto it. I didn't have an idea of exactly how I wanted it to turn out towards the end, but I just started with a small circle and then I would add some loops and then I would add another larger circle and add more loops and dots and lines. You know, it's just like I said in my tribal tutorial, you can really get creative with this and have fun. Just start small, take your time and build little pieces onto it. Do you guys see my red eyes? 
so irritating because whenever I have red eyes in fucking pictures or in tutorials, I always get the, are you high? And so usually I have eye drops to put them in, but unfortunately I don't know where they are. So if you are gonna leave a are you high comment, make it kind of funny so I laugh. Be like, are you high on cat pee like in South Park? And I'll be like, ha, 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 yes I am, <laughs> so funny. This look would also be so cool for pretty much anything because you could change up the colors however you wanted, change up the design to put anywhere on your face or body. I kind of want to play with this again. I mean, damn, what if you do it like super good? You just wear it as a dress, a beautiful henna crochet looking lacy dress. Look what I just found, my eye drops. Goodbye fucking red eyes. Since there was so much detail work in the henna markings, I decided to keep it really light for my eyebrows and the rest of my face. So I'm using in my eyebrows just a little bit of the dark brown powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills and setting my hairs with the Espresso gel from Anastasia. I just want my brows to look pushed up and super hairy. For the lips, I wanted a very neutral tone, so I'm using LA Splash Cosmetics Ghoulish. It's a liquid to matte lipstick, and it does stay very well. This is the old one. I didn't realize they had a new formula, but this is the old one. I forgot to do blush. I would definitely suggest doing this before you do your henna designs, but I did the Laura Mercier uh, Beach Tint Souffle in the watermelon slash opal color. Now to add some freckles. You guys have requested me to show you kind of how I do my freckles a little bit more, so I'm just going to throw that in this video. I am using a MAC 210 brush and Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. The thing you need to remember about freckles is that they're very random. There's some larger ones, smaller ones, you know, darker ones, lighter ones. There's a lot of different elements to it. You know, they're not all just the exact same shape or size. A lot of my freckles I use as a guideline, but you know, if you have any, look at them in the mirror. I have one that's like weirdly organic shaped and doesn't even look like a circle. So just keep that in mind, and some come in really little clusters, some are really spread out. So I would say, honestly, use a picture as a reference. Look up, you know, someone with really intense freckles, and just kind of study them. What do they look like? And try it out on yourself. It takes some practice, but you can definitely do it. And if you do want them to not be this dark, you can either tap them out with your finger a little bit, or you can use your foundation brush to just gently add a little bit of color on them of your foundation so that they don't look so intense. I wanted a little bit of color on the uh, eyelids, so I'm using the NARS Illuminizer in Laguna. It's just this really pretty brown, and usually you could use it in your foundation, but I thought it would be just a pretty glow on my eyelids. Then go ahead and add some black mascara and lashes. I'm using the NYX, uh, what is this, Doll Eye Mascara. And then I am using some Friends Beauty 131 lashes. I always put my lashes on with a tweezer. And it's so weird because I'm not wearing winged liner. It's so strange for me because I love winged liner, but whatever. And I'm just going to kind of darken the little lash band with a tiny bit of dark brown eyeshadow. 
And there you go. There's your henna inspired bohemian type look. I went ahead and threw on a necklace as a head chain that's just bobby pinned in my hair. And that's, that's pretty much it. You know, there's not much else to say. I hope you guys liked it. These have been super fun to do. If you haven't seen the other ones already, I'll put them all in a playlist together. And that's it. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. I'm a little tired because it's 4.30 in the morning, and guess what I haven't had? Dun dun dun! Coffee. No coffee in my life makes Maylene, my cat, and myself very unhappy.